So it's time for a full review of the AirPods Max. Let's get into it. What's up guys, welcome back to Michael's Tech Talk and I just want to take this opportunity to wish everybody a happy new year. I hope everybody is doing well and everybody's staying safe. So on to the AirPods Max. So I've had these for a while now and I wanted to give these a proper testing so that I could give you guys a full proper impartial review of the AirPods Max. So I avoided the AirPods Max for well over a year simply because I, I, I wouldn't pay the money for them. At, at £550 I just didn't think they were worth that money and I'll be honest it's something that I stand by to this day. Having owned these and reviewed these I can honestly say these are still not worth 550 quid. They're just not. So I avoided these for well over a year uh, simply because I just didn't think they were worth their 550 pound price point. These You can get a good deal on these online. You can get these on the likes of Amazon brand new for around 430 pound but I picked these up on Amazon Warehouse and I got these for 390 which I didn't think was too bad. I've always said I would be comfortable with 350 for the AirPods Max but you know for the sake of 40 quid I thought I would give them a go and see what they were like. The build quality of these can't be disputed they are made out of premium materials the you know the aluminium uh, outer cups the headband there with the silicone finish and the material on the inside the extended mechanism on on these as well it's just it's so satisfying. It really is. One of the great things I like about these is the removable cups so if you're like me and you like to clean your devices maybe a bit too much, the removing of these cups is a great design and it allows you to get in and make sure everything's clean and tidy. It allows you to keep them well maintained, which is something I really, really like. So let's sort of go over my, my usage experience with these. So I've been using these solid since I got them and if I'm being honest, I've had a bit of a mixed experience with them. I primarily use AirPods Pro. Uh, I use them every day. I take them everywhere with me. They're, they're always in my pocket. So switching over and using these solid was a wee bit of a change for me, simply because, because of their size, they're just not as easily portable if you will you know so you do give up a bit of convenience with them but what they lack in inconvenience compared to the likes of the pros they more than make up for with their features and their sound quality Dolby Atmos on these sounds absolutely phenomenal I, I would highly recommend if you haven't tried these and tried some Dolby Atmos you need to try them because it is good these are one of the best sounding sets of consumer headphones that you can buy so there's no dispute in that unfortunately. So being a Buds user, I don't really use overhead earphones. Just prefer Buds, that's just my preference. But I was so surprised in my first impressions with these, how comfortable these were. Uh, you know, putting these on and the cups actually cover your entire ear, which is great. And with the cushions on these, which are really, really good. As I'm sure a lot of people would agree with me that wear glasses. Uh, a lot of overhead earphones sometimes make your glasses dig into your head and I did, didn't get that with these whatsoever. Uh, they were comfortable and while they are noticeably heavy on your head, they didn't really bother me when I was wearing them. So that's always a plus because the last thing you want is the likes of your glasses to be pushed into the side of your head and then I, it sort of gets uncomfortable. That was a really, really good plus for me. So the sound on these headphones has been I will say it has been fantastic. I can't I can't dispute that and I'm not exaggerating when I say that that the sound of the Maxes it is next level. If you have used AirPods Pro, you will be familiar with the sound quality of AirPods Pro. The best way I can describe this is all the features and all of the sound quality that you'll get on the likes of AirPods Pro. You get it in these but it's just more amplified. It's just that little bit more better quality. And the reason behind that is you look at the size of, a, of an earbud and then you look at these. There's a lot more hardware in them. So you get a lot more sound quality. The transparency mode is lined with microphones all the way to the outside. So it's a lot more amplified. The noise cancellation then again, because of that same hardware, it's so much better than the, pot, than the buds. And the buds aren't bad in any way, shape or form, but these are next level when it comes to it. So yeah. Top marks for that. And then of course, being part of the Apple ecosystem, you then are able to do the Apple ecosystem things. So you can switch between your devices flawlessly, pair them to absolutely anything that you have within your ecosystem, your phone, your watch, your iPad, your MacBook, your Apple TV, anything. You can just flick between them at ease. And again, that's, that's the Apple ecosystem for you. 
it just works. I've mostly been editing when I've been using these, so battery life has been really, really good and I've been getting close to around 80 hours of continuous use before I've, had it to, before I've needed to charge them, which uh, is pretty good and with the size of these, it's, I suppose it's to be expected really. So uh, yeah, can't fault the battery on them, they're definitely definitely top for that. This is a mic test of the AirPods Max. So before I forget, here's the mic test of the AirPods Max because I know there'll be comments in the below asking what the mic quality is like. So there you go guys, there's a mic test of the AirPods Max. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. While I've been uh, listing out all the positive things that I really like about the AirPods Max, uh, unfortunately I have a lot of peeves with the AirPods Max which is why I've had a bit of a mixed experience with them. You know, for everything that the AirPods Max do right and they do well, there's an equal amount of things that are really, really irritating, unfortunately. First up, while the cups are comfortable, I find I can't really wear these for longer than about maybe 30, 30 to 45 minutes before I have to take a break. I have to take these off because yes, the cups are comfortable, but this material that the cups are made out of, I get really, really warm when I'm wearing these. And I'm sure if you're aware of AirPods Max, the, was, there was reported condensation issues inside the headphones themselves, you know, because obviously the cups are mesh. So and if you're getting warm and then you're sweating, that's obviously gonna go through the mesh and that's gonna line up inside the cup and that's where moisture was coming from for a lot of people. Now, again, it's not a massive issue. You can take the cups off, you can give them a clean and you can look after them well. So while the, the cleaning and the maintaining of that is decent enough, the material of the cups, I feel personally, could have maybe been a slightly different material, perhaps a, like a cooling memory foam, I think would have been a better job, which would have made them a bit less warm to wear, maybe. For me, that was that was a pee for me. I sort of find myself getting frustrated that after half hour, 45 minutes, I'd have to take them off and just let my ears cool down, <laughs> I suppose. And on to the next one. I think you'll know where I'm going with this. The case. This case is a pain in the ass. There's no other way to describe it. There's no other way to dress it up. It's a pain in the ass. You look at the style and the look of these AirPods and you think, man, they look really, really good. And then you look at this and you go, who designed this? Whose idea was this? To go, oh, look, we'll make these really stunning headphones. And do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna slap a bra on. It makes absolutely no sense. It is stupid. It's made out of that horrible silicone material that everything sticks to. You can never keep it clean. It's just daft. And I hate the fact that I have to put the AirPods into this case to put them into low power mode. I really, really hate that. I think when you look at some of the other top end headphones that these are competing with, you don't get that pain. You get a good case and you get a good option. I mean, for £550, you shouldn't have to go and buy another case for this to protect these in your bag, you know, or for when you're traveling. You shouldn't have to do these things at 550 quid. You just shouldn't. I hope moving forward as things progress and there's maybe a new generation of these or an alternate version, like a sport version, I hope it's something that they change because this bra is no use. So now that I'm done ranting, I'll throw that away. And my last peeve, I'm sure you can also see where I'm going with this. I am so over lightning. I am sick of it. I just want it to disappear. It's time to retire lightning. I'll give you a scenario. I traveled recently for work and to travel with work, I would normally take um, the likes of my MacBook. I would like, I would take the likes of my iPad Pro. So I like to take as little with me as possible. So having an iPad Pro, having a MacBook, I can take one USB-C charger. I can take a MagSafe cable from my phone. Having to take lightning just for these is a pain. It's a nightmare. And I'm just over it. I really am. I just, I, I, I know, in the big land of YouTube that <laughs> we're always talking about lightning and how useless it is, but I am so over it. When you're when you're using these expensive products, you shouldn't be using lightning. No, you just shouldn't. And it's time for it to go. Being able to travel and just take one cable with you is the dream, you know? Imagine being able to go with your MacBook or your, your iPad, your iPhone, your pods, and just be able to go, one cable's gonna do all of them. It's great. Someday. Lightning, enough's enough. 
would I buy these again? If I'm being honest, £350 I think is more than enough for the AirPods Max. And at £350, I think they're I think there's a fair enough price for them. I honestly do. If I'm honest, at £350, I probably would buy them again if I had to. If these broke or if I lost them and I had to buy another set at £350, I think I'd be okay with buying them. At £550, £200 extra, I just don't see the logic. To me, £550 for these hangs over me like a cloud. The minute like the minute I take these anywhere. I'm like, it's £550 in my hand. What happens if, what if I drop these? What if I drop these and scrape these? Or what if, what if it rains and they get wet? Because they're not water resistant. I just, uh, I, uh, that price tag just hangs over me like a cloud, it really does. Long story short, are these worth double, actually more than double than AirPods Pro? No, they're not, they, they're just not. For £550, I could go and buy a couple of pairs of AirPods Pro and still have money left over for a MagSafe battery pack. All of the same features will come on the Pros and the Pros are more convenient. The Pros can wirelessly charge. For me, the convenience of the Pros outweighs extra quality that you get with these. As a day-to-day -day set of headphones, yeah, not at 550 pound. Guys, that just about wraps it up for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please, if you could do those three things for me, I would massively appreciate it. If you could hit that like button, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 1,000 subs, and I couldn't do it without your guys' help, so thank you kindly. I have a lot of videos in the pipeline coming, so keep it locked to the channel for them. And until the next one, guys, I'll catch you later.